Yakuza, also referred to as Gokudo, the Extreme Path, are a group of transnational organized crime syndicates that originated in Japan. While they call themselves Ninkyo Dantai, chivalrous organizations, the Japanese police and media, as per the police's request, label them as Boryokudan, violent groups. In English, they are commonly referred to as gangsters, indicating their involvement in a mafia-like criminal organization. The Yakuza are known for their strict codes of conduct, their organized fiefdom structure, and various unusual practices, such as yubitsume or the amputation of the left little finger. Typically, members are portrayed as heavily tattooed males wearing fundoshi, sometimes covered with a kimono or a western-style, sharp, suit. They are still considered among the wealthiest and most sophisticated criminal organizations. At their peak, the Yakuza had a significant presence in the Japanese media and operated internationally, with a membership of 184,100 members and quasi-members in 1963. However, their numbers have dwindled drastically over the years, primarily due to changing market opportunities, legal and social developments in Japan that discourage Yakuza membership. In 1991, they had 63,800 members and 27,200 quasi-members. As of 2022, they have only 11,400 members and 11,000 quasi-members, and their members are aging. Young people do not readily join, and the average age of Yakuza members by the end of 2022 is 54.2 years. Although the Japanese government has passed various laws to hinder their criminal activities and increase their liability, the Yakuza continue to engage in a variety of illicit activities, causing many Japanese citizens to still fear for their safety. Despite these measures, there is still no outright ban on Yakuza membership in Japan today. The Yakuza derive their name from the Japanese card game Oicho Kabu, where the objective is to draw three cards totaling nine. The game employs a scoring system where the second digit of the sum is used if it exceeds ten, and a score of zero is given if the total is exactly ten. The worst hand in the game is eight, nine, three, pronounced Yaku Sa in Japanese, which equals twenty and a score of zero. In Japanese, the word Yakuza is usually written in katakana. Most modern Yakuza organizations trace their origins back to two social classifications that emerged during the mid-Edo period, 1603-1868, Tekia, who primarily dealt in stolen, illicit, or shoddy goods, and Bikudo, who were involved in or participated in gambling. Tekia, or peddlers, were ranked among the lowest social groups during the Edo period. As they began forming their own organizations, they took over some administrative duties related to commerce such as stall allocation and protection of their commercial activities. During Shinto festivals, these peddlers opened stalls, and some members were hired as security. Each peddler paid rent in exchange for a stall assignment and protection during the fair. The tekia were a highly structured and hierarchical group, with the oyabun, boss, at the top and koban, gang members, at the bottom. This hierarchy resembled a structure similar to a family. In traditional Japanese culture, the Oyabun was often regarded as a surrogate father, and the Koban as surrogate children. During the Edo period, the government formally recognized the Tekia. At this time, within the Tekia, the Oyabun were appointed as supervisors and granted near samurai status, meaning they were allowed the dignity of a surname and two swords. During the mid-Edo period, Bikudo, gamblers, had an even lower social status than traders due to the illegal nature of gambling. To evade the law, many small gambling houses emerged in abandoned temples or shrines on the outskirts of Japanese towns and villages. These gambling establishments often ran loan sharking operations and employed their own security personnel. The wider society viewed both the gambling houses and the bikudo with disdain, and it was from the bikudo that much of the yakuza's negative reputation originated, including the name yakuza itself. As the merchant class grew in prominence during this period, Developing Yakuza groups attracted misfits and delinquents who sought to extort customers in local markets by selling fake or substandard goods. The Tekia and Bakudo groups had hierarchical structures, with an Oyabun, boss, at the top and Koban, gang members, at the bottom. The Oyabun was often seen as a surrogate father, while the Koban were like surrogate children, reflecting the traditional Japanese family structure. Shimizu Jirocho, 1820-1893, is a renowned Yakuza and folk hero in Japan. Born Shigoro Yamamoto, he changed his name after being adopted, as was a common Japanese practice. 
Shimizu's life and exploits were depicted in 16 films between 1911 and 1940. Today, the initiation ceremonies of the Yakuza still incorporate tekia or bakudo rituals, and some gangs continue to identify with one group or the other, depending on their primary source of income. For instance, a gang whose primary revenue comes from illegal gambling may refer to themselves as bakudo. Kyushu Island has historically been the largest source of Yakuza members, including many renowned bosses in the Yamaguchi Gumi. Isokichi Yoshida, 1867-1936, from the Kitakyushu area is regarded as the first modern Yakuza to gain notoriety. Shinobu Tsukasa and Kunio Inoue, the bosses of the two most powerful clans in the Yamaguchi Gumi, are also from Kyushu. Currently, Fukuoka has the largest number of designated syndicates among all of Japan's prefectures. In the formation of the Yakuza, they adopted the traditional Japanese hierarchical structure of Oyabun Koban, where the Koban, lit. Foster child, owe their loyalty and allegiance to the Oyabun, lit. Foster parent. Later, a code of Jingi, justice and duty, was developed, which emphasized the importance of respect and loyalty. The Oyabun Koban relationship is formalized through a ceremonial sharing of sake from a single cup. Although this ritual is not exclusive to the Yakuza and is also common in traditional Japanese Shinto weddings, it may have been a part of sworn brotherhood relationships. During World War II in Japan, the traditional tekia, bikudo form of organization declined as the entire population was mobilized for the war effort and the country was under strict military control. However, after the war, the Yakuza adapted once again. Prospective Yakuza members come from diverse backgrounds. Some of the most romantic tales about the Yakuza involve accepting sons who have been abandoned or exiled by their families. Many Yakuza start out as common street thugs or members of Bosozoku gangs while in junior high school or high school. Due to its lower socioeconomic status, numerous Yakuza members come from Barakaman and ethnic Korean backgrounds. Low-ranking youth in the Yakuza may be referred to as chimpira. Yakuza gangs follow a hierarchical structure, which is similar to the traditional Japanese senpei kahai, senior-junior, model. The groups are led by an oyabun or kumicho, family head, who gives orders to his subordinates, the koban. Members of Yakuza gangs refer to each other as family members, fathers and elder and younger brothers, and transfer their loyalty to the gang boss. Women are rarely acknowledged, and the few who are, are referred to by the title Ann San, older sister. Yakuza organizations have a complex organizational structure, which includes an overall boss of the syndicate, the Kumicho, and several advisors and chiefs beneath him. The regional gangs are governed by their local boss, the Shitegashira. Each member's connection is ranked by the hierarchy of Sakazuki, sake sharing. Those who have received sake from Oyabun are part of the immediate family and ranked in terms of elder or younger brothers. The Yamaguchi Gumi, for example, controls some 2,500 businesses and 500 Yakuza groups, which are organized into fifth-rank subsidiary organizations. Yubitsume, also known as Odashime, is a form of apology or penance in Yakuza culture where the transgressor must cut off the tip of their left little finger and offer it to their boss as a sign of contrition. This practice has declined in popularity among younger members due to it being a clear identifier for law enforcement. The tradition's roots lie in the way of holding a Japanese sword, where the bottom three fingers of each hand hold the sword tightly, and the index and thumb fingers are looser. By progressively removing digits from the little finger to the index finger, a person's sword grip becomes weaker, making them rely more on the group for protection, reducing individual action. Yakuza members often have full-body tattoos known as irizumi, which are typically hand-poked using non-electrical tools with bamboo or steel needles. This is a costly, painful process that can take years to complete. Members often reveal their tattoos only during Oicho Kabu card games, where they remove their shirts or open them up to display their tattoos to one another. They usually keep them concealed in public with high-necked and long-sleeved shirts. New members may be required to reveal any lower body tattoos by removing their trousers. Although the implementation of the Anti-Boryokudan Act in 1992 has caused a decline in Yakuza membership, the syndicate still remains active in Japan. As of 2022, the Japanese National Police Agency estimated that around 11,400 Yakuza members were involved in illegal activities in the country. The Yakuza is not a single entity, but rather a collection of various syndicate groups that make up one of the largest organized crime groups worldwide. In recent times, the three primary Yakuza groups have formed a loose alliance. 
In April 2023, Hiyoshi Takayama, the second in command of the Yamaguchi Gumi, Shuji Agawa, the chairman of the Sumiyoshi Kai, and Kazuya Uchibori, the chairman of the Inagawa Kai, held a social gathering. According to the 1991 enacted organized crime countermeasures law, Bryokuden Taisaku Ho, a Yakuza group that is particularly harmful, must be registered by the Prefectural Public Safety Commissions as a designated Boryokuden, Shite Bryokuden. Boryokuden status is given to organizations whose members use the gang's power for business purposes, have a single leader, and have a high percentage of members with prior criminal convictions. The Prefectural Public Safety Commissions have registered 24 syndicates as the authorized Boryokuden groupings in accordance with the Organized Crime Countermeasures Law. Of all the prefectures, Fukuoka Prefecture has the most designated Boryokuden groups, with five total. These groups are the Kudo Kai, Taishu Kai, Fukuhaku Kai, Dojin Kai, and Namakawa Kai. Many Yakuza syndicates emerged after the Organized Crime Countermeasures Law was passed. The majority of designated Boryokuden groups were established before World War II, and a few were established before the Meiji Restoration of the 19th century. However, there are some exceptions, such as the Namakawa Kai, which was registered only two years after it was founded despite engaging in open hostilities with the Dojin Kai. Satoru Namura, the fifth head of Kudo Kai, was given a death sentence for murder and attempted murder by the Fukuoka District Court in August 2021. This was the first time a certified Bryokuden head had been given the death penalty. The only designated Bryokuden that has been designated as a particularly dangerous designated Bryokuden, Tokute Kaiken Shite Bryokuden, a more dangerous category of Bryokuden, is Kudo Kai. The Yakuza, a Japanese organized crime syndicate, has a semi-legitimate status in society. They have been known to provide disaster relief services, such as after the 1995 Kobe earthquake and the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, often faster than the government's official efforts. Some Yakuza members view their income and activities as a form of feudal tax. Despite the Yamaguchi Gumi and other Yakuza groups officially prohibiting drug trafficking, some syndicates such as the Dojin Kai are heavily involved in it. Additionally, certain Yakuza groups engage in human trafficking, particularly from impoverished areas like the Philippines, where young women are lured to Japan with promises of respectable jobs but are forced into sex work. The Yakuza also practices a form of Japanese extortion called Sakaya, which involves infiltrating and harassing the stockholders' meetings of large corporations. Yakuza members purchase small amounts of stock to gain entry to the meetings and then physically intimidate other stockholders. The Yakuza have various ties to the Japanese real estate and banking sectors through Jiajia. These individuals specialize in persuading small property owners to sell their land, enabling real estate companies to carry out larger development projects. Many attribute the Japanese bubble economy of the 1980s to real estate speculation by banking subsidiaries. After the property bubble burst, the assassination of a major bank manager in Nagoya prompted speculation about the banking industry's indirect ties to the Japanese underworld. Although Yakuza activities are considered semi-legitimate, theft is not recognized as a legitimate activity within the organization. Theft is covert and would be considered a breach of the community's trust. Additionally, Yakuza usually do not manage their core business activities directly. Instead, Non-Yakuza members who pay protection fees are responsible for activities such as merchandising, loan sharking, and gambling house management. Yakuza's international criminal activity is also evident. Many tattooed Yakuza members are imprisoned in Asian prisons for various crimes, including drug trafficking and arms smuggling. In 1997, one confirmed Yakuza member was caught smuggling 4 kilograms, 8.82 pounds, of heroin into Canada. Yakuza's historical connection to the Japanese feudal system and their association with extreme right-wing political groups, such as the Yuyoku Dantai, have given them some legitimacy and established them as part of the Japanese establishment. Six fan magazines regularly report on their activities, and their involvement in politics is akin to lobbying, supporting candidates who share their views. A study found that 1 in 10 adults under 40 believed that the Yakuza should continue to exist. However, there have been instances of Yakuza violence that have led to civilian casualties, such as the Yamamichi War between the Yamaguchi Gumi and Dojin Kai groups in Fukuoka during the 1980s. In response, police mediated and forced the Yakuza leaders to declare a truce publicly. Anti-Yakuza campaigns have been launched in Japanese cities, with mixed results. 
1995, the Japanese government passed the Act for Prevention of Unlawful Activities by Criminal Gang Members, which made traditional racketeering more challenging. Since 2009, the police have been cracking down on Yakuza gangs, leading to the arrest of key leaders such as Kiyoshi Takayama in 2010 and Tadashi Iri in the same year. Local governments and construction companies have also begun to distance themselves from Yakuza activities, thanks to stricter anti-Yakuza laws and legislation enacted in Osaka and Tokyo in 2010 and 2011. In a landmark case on August 24, 2021, Namura Satoru became the first Yakuza boss to be sentenced to death for his involvement in one murder and three assaults. The presiding judge Adaki Ben of the Fukuoka District Court characterized the murders as extremely vicious attacks. After the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami on March 11, 2011, the Yakuza sent hundreds of trucks filled with supplies such as food, water, blankets, and sanitary accessories to assist those affected by the natural disaster. Despite operating through extortion and other violent methods, the Yakuza were commended for their quick and discreet provision of aid to those in need, as reported by CNN Mexico. The Yakuza's presence in the United States has significantly increased since the 1960s, with a concentrated focus on Hawaii. They have also made their presence known in Los Angeles, the San Francisco Bay Area, Seattle, Las Vegas, Arizona, Virginia, Chicago, and New York City. Hawaii is used as a midway station between Japan and mainland America for smuggling methamphetamine into the U.S. and firearms back to Japan, while the large population of Japanese and Asian visitors and residents allows the Yakuza to blend in easily. The Yakuza has also formed alliances with local gangs, such as Korean and Chinese gangs in California, and Vietnamese gangs in order to gain more muscle. The Yakuza collect finders' fees from Russian, Irish, and Italian gang members and businessmen in New York City for guiding Japanese tourists to gambling establishments, both legal and illegal. Handguns manufactured in the U.S. account for a significant portion, 33%, of handguns seized in Japan, followed by those manufactured in China, 16%, and the Philippines, 10%. The FBI has raised concerns about the Yakuza's use of various operations to launder money in the U.S. In 2001, the head of the Gotu Gumi, Tadamasa Gotu, received a liver transplant at the UCLA Medical Center in the United States through an arrangement made by the FBI's representative in Tokyo, in exchange for providing information on Yamaguchi Gumi operations in the U.S. This was done without the prior consultation of the NPA. The journalist who uncovered the deal was threatened by Gotu and received police protection in the U.S. and Japan. The Yakuza have been involved in illegal activities in Southeast Asia since the 1960s, particularly in the development of sex tourism and drug trafficking, which remains their most active area of operation outside of Japan. They also operate in South Korea, China, Taiwan, and the Pacific Islands, especially Hawaii. There is also a Yakuza presence in North Korea, as evidenced by the release of Yakuza member Yoshiaki Sawada from a North Korean prison in 2009 after a failed attempt to bribe a North Korean official and smuggle drugs. According to Mitsuhiro Shuganuma, a former officer of the Public Security Intelligence Agency, around 60% of Yakuza members come from the Barakaman, a group that Japanese society discriminates against socially, and around 30% are Japanese-born Koreans. Only 10% are from non-Barakaman Japanese and Chinese ethnic groups. The Barakaman are descendants of outcast communities that originated in the pre-modern, particularly the feudal era, and were associated with occupations deemed tainted by death or ritual impurity, such as butchers, executioners, undertakers, or leatherworkers. They traditionally lived in isolated hamlets and villages away from other groups. According to David E. Kaplan and Alec Dubro, Barakaman account for around 70% of Yamaguchi Gumi's members, the largest Yakuza syndicate in Japan. Despite making up only 0.5% of Japan's population, ethnic Koreans are disproportionately represented in the Yakuza due to discrimination they face in Japanese society, along with the Barakaman. In the early 1990s, 18 out of 90 top bosses of Inagawa Kai were ethnic Koreans, and according to the Japanese National Police Agency, Koreans make up 10% of the Yakuza proper and 70% of Barakaman in the Yamaguchi Gumi. Some representatives of designated Boryokudan groups are also Korean. However, Korean involvement in the Yakuza was a taboo topic in Japan for many years, and descriptions of Korean-related Yamaguchi Gumi activities were deleted from the Japanese version of Kaplan and Dubro's Yakuza, 1986, 
until its publication in 1991. Japanese-born people of Korean ancestry who retain South Korean nationality are considered resident aliens and are embraced by the Yakuza because they fit the group's outsider image. Notable Yakuza members of Korean ancestry include Hisayuki Machiai, the founder of Tosei Kai, Tokutaro Takayama, the head of the fourth generation Aizuka Tetsu Kai, Jiro Kiyoda, the head of the fifth generation Inagawa Kai, Shinichi Matsuyama, the head of the fifth generation Kyakuto Kai, and Hirofumi Hashimoto, the founder of the Kyokushin Rango Kai, affiliated with Yamaguchi Gumi, dissolved in 2019. Since 2011, regulations have been put in place to outlaw business with Yakuza members, conduct government ordered audits of Yakuza finances, and enact Yakuza exclusion ordinances, which have contributed to a decline in Yakuza membership. Mizuo Financial Group, Inc. was ordered by the Financial Services Agency to improve compliance after its consumer credit affiliate was found making loans to crime groups. In addition, younger generations may be less interested in gang-related activity due to easier access to semi-legitimate jobs, such as ownership in bars, massage parlors, and pornography, that can be more profitable than gang affiliation while abiding by strict anti-Yakuza laws. Some citizens have taken a stronger stance against the Yakuza, banning known members from their businesses and posting warnings against their entry. Although store owners in Kyushu were initially attacked by gang members, the region has reached stability as a result of these actions, without violent reactions from the Yakuza. In 2008, an anti-Yakuza amendment was passed which allows prosecutors to hold crime bosses responsible for any Yakuza-related crimes committed. As a result, the leader of the Yamaguchi Gumi was imprisoned and required to pay over 85 million yen in damages for crimes committed by his gangsters. This led to the dismiss the pressure on Yakuza organizations extends beyond Japan's borders, as the U.S. government has also taken action. In 2011, a federal executive order mandated that financial institutions freeze Yakuza assets. By 2013, the U.S. Treasury Department had frozen around US$55,000 in Yakuza holdings, including two American Express cards issued in Japan. The Yakuza's relationship with Japanese society has been complicated. While they are often considered outcasts, some of their activities may be perceived as beneficial to society. For instance, they prevent other criminal organizations from operating in their territories and have provided assistance during times of disaster. These actions have occasionally portrayed the Yakuza in a positive light in Japan. Additionally, the Yakuza has appealed to marginalized groups, such as Korean Japanese, who have faced discrimination in Japanese society. Nevertheless, their use of violence and involvement in gang conflicts has led to a decline in their public support. 